I almost forgot to record this, fam, but uh, we were cooking with Master J, and Master J is my dad, and he's a master chef. Here's what we got rolling, baby. John, say hello. We're cooking kebabs. We got actually a, a pretty low grade cut of meat. It's a chuck steak. Um, I think these thighs got some leakage. Hey, Chaser. Okay. We'll drop it right in. Whoa. Chase? Yeah. Hey, brother. Hey, Jay. What's going on? Got the kebabs here. What you got? Whoa. Bring those over here, brother. Zoom in on this, brother. Whoa. So that's oh, chicken yeah. thighs and bell pepper and onions. Think so. Yeah. So we're taking a little fat off the steak. Right. I'm just. It's not a really desirable cut of meat, but we're gonna kind of sear it quick, and I try to get the marbled part and clean it up a little bit. So it'll probably be great for a kebab. Nice. Ribeye would be would probably. Do John, you want to share the camera? Mama Bell. Don't hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Too expensive. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna take you outside and show you what we're working with. I've actually developed, I've developed a new way to get charcoal very hot, very fast. And we don't use lighter fluid anymore because this method works. So check this out. I got my air compressor and just, you know, Amazon special kind of gig. See that thing over there? Yeah. Coming out. Now check this out. I'm a little bit scared to have the camera too close, but watch. You see, and it's actually blasting the fire. Look at this. It gets the fire extremely hot, and then the fire runs through all the coals and gets the rest of them extremely hot. So I can get this thing up to like 550 in like 10 minutes. Whoa. Oh yeah. So we got a big day. Last night we cooked a ribeye at 1 a.m. Right here. There is the, uh, you know, the setup. Maybe I should make a video of how to create that with a natural gas line. Now here we go. Might do a little time lapse action of us just hanging out. I'm just trying to clean it up a little bit. So we're just taking the fat off of this because what kind of cut is this? This is a this is a chuck roast. Chuck roast. But Not a premium cut, yeah. but we do, we do what we can. But I believe that inside of this chuck roast, there's probably a chuck eye steak. It's, it's close to the ribeye and it's sometimes even better than a, than a ribeye. Um, but anyway, I'd look for a little bit more marbling. And these cubes would be great with a little bit of salt and pepper on the grill. I'm gonna put some bell pepper and some onions on those as well. And some of those tomatoes are on there. Nothing like a grilled tomato. Stop it, John. Stop it. Hey, man. Want to see my rope swing? Yeah. Whoa. So check this out. This is a COVID project. Don't got a rope swing? Worry, yeah, one second. Okay, I got a... Yeah. This is just plumbing. Steel plumbing. And I made an L joint. And then I got chain and went up and around and bolted it to the tree for downward pressure support. And then I got this side one right here. Right there. To keep it from going... Uh, to, to keep it from swaying. So, uh, hey man, mind giving us like a, just yeah. a little swing? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa! Oh. Yeah. yeah! All right. Do a little, whoa! Nice spin. How's it feel? Bro, it feels secure. Whoa. Feel safe. Good stuff, man. Then of course we got the uh, COVID pull-up bar, workout station. And we fashioned that together until Brad Sheeran started doing kipping pull-ups on it and broke it 17 times, so I had to really, really reinforce it. You know what I mean? Strong Brad. But the grill is rolling, and let's see, I put the top on two minutes ago. Look at that heat, bro. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. Wow. Bro. <laughs> All right, so got a little more action from John F. Putting together some more kebabs. What do we got, John? 
I'm um, cutting the onion for the shish kebab. I like to do it in such a way that you've got all these end pieces, but then you can actually skewer the, the middle one as well. So we're gonna have tomatoes and onions. Usually I break them into twos. So, you know, basically this is just binder for the, for the beef on the stick. And, uh, right. That's about it. We didn't have uh, onions initially because Chase McGeary uh, doesn't like onions raw, but apparently he loves them grilled. It's kind of crazy. All right, so Good we're stuff. gonna skewer some. The skewers have been soaking in water for a while. You gotta do that so they don't burn when they're on the grill. I did not know that. Should we give away our secret of uh, how to make the chicken delicious? Or should we wait till a later time? Uh, well, right now I actually just use wiener sprinkle. Wiener sprinkle, tell us about that, John. It's a custom blend of spices, commonly found spices, but it's just a, a ratio that works out pretty well. I put it on my burgers, put it on my chicken, and uh, especially put it on chicken thighs. My son's, my other son, Thomas's favorite is chicken thighs with wiener sprinkle mayonnaise and some Italian dressing. All right, fam, stay tuned. We're about to throw them on the grill. Like, All right, here we go. First round of skewers. Going on, baby. All right. Uh -oh. Get those babies down. <laughs> These are metal ones. We got some stick ones and some metal ones. We got a lot of skewer action going on here. Some thighs. Looking pretty good. Whoa. All right, we're putting some kebabs together. Yep. Got some tomatoes. Yes, sir. A little mm. bit of beef. Look at that. Oh boy. Wow. We're getting kind of hot over there. You might want to check that Chase, out. Chase, check the kebabs over there, brother. Oh. Hurry! Roll them over. Roll them over one time. Uh huh. Whoa. Ooh, look at that. Zoom in on that, brother. Gosh. Jesus, thank you. Whoa. Boom, boom. Everybody say, well. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Whoa, that's hot, brother. Hot. Here's what we got so far off the grill. Yes, sir. Got those chicken thighs. Got the charred we got tomatoes, rolling right now. Charred peppers. Got some beef working. Man. All right, here we go. Digging in the shish kebabs. Uh huh. Oh, look at that beef one, brother. I love shish kebab onions. Mm. Oh, thank you, God. John, I've done an amazing job. So good. Mm. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. My father in law's a beast. Mmm. Yes. A little wiener sprinkle? Alright. Well, the meal's over. Guys, what do we think? Good food. Good drink. <laughs> Basically <laughs> carnivores. We couldn't, we couldn't finish it all because it was so good. Stuffed. But, Master Wiener, thank you for cooking. Be more food to come. We're trying to get him to move to Colorado, so. Stay so. <laughs> That'll do it. <her. laughs>